Ik hoop van de sterren omdat het in die, in die donker nog mooi is. Als ik op naar die sterren kijk, dan voel ik opgewonden. Astronomy is a very exciting science. It asks some of the biggest questions that mankind can ask, such as what is our place in the universe? Are we alone? And these are also questions that astronomy cannot just solve by itself. We have to reach out to other disciplines like chemistry, biology, geology, mathematics, informatics. They're all part of solving these biggest questions that mankind has. Uh, IAU additionally started uh, with these 10 years uh, to open uh, its activities uh, toward the uh, education and, and uh, outreach. We'll have very soon a fourth office dedicated to the teaching. Well, the IAU in the first place is about bringing astronomers worldwide together to discuss and stimulate science. But the IAU is so much more than that. It's really the face of astronomy to the outside world. The governing structure of the International Astronomical Union is uh, an example in democracy and efficiency. Uh, the officers are elected for three years and the assistant general secretary and the president-elect will serve for three years before becoming president and general secretary. And this rotation of three years allow us to promote participation by the entire community and also to take into consideration geographical distribution and gender distribution. IAU symposia really help people to get together and communicate and form collaboration and learn all the new things other people are doing. And for this particular meeting, I was very happy to see this astro set from India and they have this, this ultraviolet camera. They got some data which I was very interested in. I didn't know about this satellite until I came to this meeting. Les écoles internationales pour jeunes astronomes sont un programme de l'UAI créé en 1967. Il s'adresse aux étudiants ayant un master en astrophysique ou bien étant en début de thèse. Ces écoles ont lieu chaque année et durent trois semaines. Ils commencent ainsi à construire leur réseau de collaboration scientifique dans un contexte international qui va les aider à situer leur travail indépendamment de toute frontière et de toute barrière politique grâce à une passion commune, l'astronomie. Astronomy for Development is an initiative by the International Astronomical Union to try to find how astronomy impacts on society. How do you use this field to make the world a better place? So amongst the projects that we've supported around the world, uh, there's been a range of activities from using astronomy to stimulate interest in maths and science at school level, using astronomy to stimulate research and undergraduate education at university level. Uh, we've also used astronomy to engage with the public on scientific method, on thinking. The work that we do in, uh, in the Office of Astronomy for Development, we are transforming a lot of the, a lot of knowledge, because it's a lot of knowledge, right? And we are very competitive. We are transforming it into, into wisdom that we can use for uh, human, human development. Dit is me eindelijk een groter idee gegeven wat buiten aan gaan ons denken als mens dat ons is al levende wezens in die wereld en die hele al. Maar toch is dat zoveel groter dingen als wat niet ons is. Dus als ons wat die zon in die aarde in vergelijking met, die, met elkaar, dus wat een miljoen aarde is, kan in die zon in pas. En kijk net hoe klein is ons in wat die aarde is. Dus en zo so dit me een groter impact gegeven. The first time I saw the clear skies was when I was actually on a family vacation at Kodekanal and I actually saw the skies full of stars and it was a wow. So then I decided to actually go into some amateur clubs and see the sky and I actually started with small telescopes and watching nebula and the open clusters and that is what actually brought me into astronomy. The International Astronomical Union is considering the visibility of the night sky a cultural value of all civilization since the dawn of humanity and therefore is very active to protect this value for the future generations. The artificial light is making it impossible to see the stars during the night, but there are measures that can mitigate this pollution, either by eliminating the unnecessary artificial lighting or to create oases for the visibility of the night. Very important role that astronomy is fulfilling is that it's a driver for technological development. 
It's an exciting time in astrophysics because over the next decade, international consortia are embarking on building the next generation of large telescopes. The Extremely Large Telescope, the Giant Magellan Telescope, and the 30 meter telescope project. These new large ground-based optical telescopes could represent the real breakthrough in our understanding of the universe from the first galaxies to the formation of stars and planets. But they represent challenges as well because telescopes of that size really require a new way of thinking both in how the telescopes are constructed, the companies and the people involved in such large constructions, and then the technology you have to use to in fact provide the high quality imaging that we expect out of such large telescopes. Un des enjeux principaux à l'heure actuelle consiste à comprendre de quoi sont faits la surface des astéroïdes, des comètes. Question fondamentale dans la mesure où si on comprend de quoi elles sont faites, on peut envisager de remonter aux circonstances qui ont amené à leur, la constitution en fait. In South Africa, there's a lot of exciting, interesting developments going on. The world's largest radio telescope, and it will be based mainly in the Northern Cape. And those radio telescopes will be the most powerful telescope we've ever, ever seen. We have no idea what we will discover. Not only that, the technological developments that we have to make in order to do this SKA project means that things like data science and big data and computational astrophysics is going to grow quite a lot. We're now discovering thousands of planets around stars. And our star is just a normal star, and we're just a normal planet. I think it makes you realize that really our commonality, our humanity is actually much, much greater than any little differences that we have between us. I think one of the biggest challenges that the IAU will have in the future is in order to convince society and also the policymakers of the importance of astronomy. And especially that this is a long-term endeavor and not the short-term gains that most of the politicians are used to.